Hi Collective, Rose Warrior One here with a message for you today. This is my second collective reading, so if that first one resonated, there could be some messages here. If that first one didn't resonate, there could be some messages here for you too. So just take what's yours today, leave the rest. As always, I'm called to read for specific groups of people within each video, okay? So you could be divine feminine, divine masculine, or any sign. This is an all signs reading. So let's go ahead and see what we have from your oracle here. I, I did see a card that wanted to kind of fold over. So something about not folding by taking a break, a life's work, not a season, get off the treadmill. So something about not folding here. And I do see trust your path. So yeah, something about taking a break and trusting that the path will unfold and you will be able to see clearly what is that next step, right? But we need to allow spirit to work is what I'm getting here. Let's go ahead and see what your oracle energy is collectively and then we'll pull some tarot. So we have limitless and individuality wow okay okay so i just heard pisces and i just heard jupiter i literally just heard those two words very specifically so you could be a pisces here sun moon rising mercury venus north note and that'll go for any sign i call today so something about limitless here is giving me the energy of blessings being able to come into your life when you tap into your own individual happiness when you tap into your own individual peace when it comes to what these things mean to you it's important to give yourself that here because you are a limitless being and you are able to create highly vibrational outcomes is what i'm hearing let me pull the card here i noticed from the first reading it was probably better to do the cards here so something about positive and highly vibrational outcomes here you could have a tattoo of a very rare bird or you can have a tattoo of a monarch butterfly or some sort of butterflies here. It says, see yourself open to receive in the most miraculous ways. The divine can use anything and anyone. You may not think you're limitless. You may think that you're not talented. You may think that you're not enough for this certain step that you're taking in life here that will be unfolding very soon. And for some of you, it already has here. But little do you know, spirit is trying to give you reflections of your limitless potential through people you may be meeting, through connections you might be making, through transformations that are taking place within your mind, your body, and your spirit at this time. There is a limitless potential being reflected to you because you are naturally vibrating at authenticity. This says individuality. It says every person has their own personalized study plan in this earth school. Everyone has their own walk. Everyone has their own path here. Everyone has their own potential to fulfill to what we come here to do is learn, right? In this earth school, like it says here. So something about self-love, right? It was no wonder I was picking up on someone who needed to know that even though they may not feel powerful that they are 333 on the clock as i say that self-love you could be healing a bond with a child if you're a parent you could be healing a bond with your daughter or your son a masculine or feminine child of yours nonetheless this is all energy here or you could be healing a relationship with your parent if you're the child here in some way shape or form i heard all grown up so you could be healing some sort of relationship at this time. Something could be coming into fruition, something of a solution, something of a change for the better is what I'm hearing. This says, let the wall fall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner child. This has to do with your inner child for a lot of you. For some of you, it has nothing to do with family and it'll be about your connection to self. It says, I long to take care of myself like never before. So there's something about taking care of the self. It's taking care of that heart chakra here. That love deals with the heart chakra. Go to that first collective reading if you would like to know what. I'm actually being guided to pull more of here. Of my personal oracle deck that I created myself here. About two months, three months worth of downloads here. 
But yeah, go check that first reading out if you resonated with that heart chakra message, okay? Like literally, if the heart chakra is the main thing you're trying to heal at this time. So we literally have prayer is your answer. The solution lies within. And something about locked. You could be feeling locked at this time, locked and loaded, or you could be feeling like some there's some sort of blessing, some sort of restriction, there's some sort of limitation. You could feel locked. But by prayer, you'll be able to release it by praying over yourself that this white light cleanses these blockages here. That Holy Spirit come in like the gust of wind does and clear out stagnant energy. Something about listening to music. You could be listening to frequency music here. 528 hertz, 417 hertz here to clear energy. You're definitely listening to the right things. You're also listening to R&B, rock, oldies. Listening to good stuff is what I'm hearing. <laughs> we have create more balance and flow, literally. Create more balance and flow, right? As you're in this path of uncovering your individuality, learning who you are, learning your limitless potential, Spirit wants you to create more balance and flow. So more resources provided for you here, because I am seeing the earth element popping up on the top of the deck here, it randomly just was faced up here. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, whoever I'm speaking to, but you don't have to be. There's something about creating balance and flow here. Emphasis on flow is what I just heard. Owl, spirit, animal, the ancestors here could be trying to connect to you. You could have a tattoo of an owl. You could have this owl, spirit, animal who you're very familiar with because this has been an ongoing energy following you in a good way. <laughs> But this is the energy of psychic knowing, psychic protection, as well as receiving downloads, receiving psychic information. So you could have a very rare ability to receive information is what I'm getting for some of you. All right, Holy Spirit. What do we have here? What is this information here today? Too many, too many. So I'm picking up on Gemini energy. You could be a Virgo too, but I am picking up on Gemini for sure. Could be also Pisces, Cancer, Scorpios, like I said, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, or North Node here. However it resonates, this energy found you for a reason. It could also manifest in your situations as well. Whoever I'm speaking to, there's something about internal dialogue. There's something about reflection, really learning to heal the self here. Learning to dig deep within, learning to go within. Learning to rely on the balance of and the flow of your heart and your mind. The King of Cups has a balance of logic and intuition. You're learning to balance this logic and intuition here. But I see that with the Page of Swords, you might have started off more so impulsive and more so in a youthful state when it comes to this creation of balance and flow something could also be coming in or you could be hearing word over something here something that you manifested because we have the magician here someone's a manifester here whoever i'm speaking to you have plenty of skills plenty of talents you're also working on new ways to heal working on new ways to help your family heal for some of you it's just what i get with this king of cups here there's a lot of connection and close bonds this is something that you incarnate to feel for this king of cups or queen of cups you could be a queen of cups they flop the roles there is a sense of internal dialogue though about what next step to take 
You could be in deep contemplation to find clarity within about what next step to take. Let's get more in insight on this next step. Yeah, seven of swords here. This is more Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, the same suit as the Page of Swords here. Mainly Aquarius energy, but I am picking up on someone who was misinformed. Maybe you were supposed to be informed, and I see someone trying to misinform you for some reason. We have another seven showing up. Seven of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. You could be seeing the number 77. Seven of Pentacles is Taurus energy here. Capricorn and Virgo, but Taurus. So we've got Aquarius and Taurus energy showing up. We've got Gemini here showing up with a little bit of Virgo. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You waited very long for certain opportunities to come your way that you manifested here. And there is a certain energy or was a certain energy that was removed most likely. Because the energy that I'm feeling from whoever I'm speaking to, you definitely have removed certain energies and people basically around you in order for you to see the clear picture. This is not easy to do, but this was something that you felt you were intuitively guided to do. Because like I said, this King of Cups, whoever you are, is you're learning to balance your intuition with your logic. You're learning to balance the heart and the mind here. With your decision-making process, you have those two working in unison. So with this 77 energy, this is also giving Sagittarius energy. For some of you out there who could be a Sagittarius. Sporadic movement here is what I'm getting with this 77. There was an energy that ran amok around your auric field i can see it in my third eye i can see this red energy just this could have been someone who really needed focus on their root chakra but they knew you knew how to plant new seeds here how to sow new seeds so this is why your intuition has guided you to walk your own path even if it meant making certain decisions to be in solitude because you can't deal with deceit or anything at this time when you are working on evolving working on your journey king of cups spirit the hermit right working on yourself working on the journey going within this is virgo energy here so that, that Gemini and Virgo with the magician here was is coming through now. Whoever I'm speaking to, you went within with this Virgo energy and the hermit. Your next step here deals with trusting your intuition, trusting your gut. You've basically already been given the answers. It's a matter of not allowing fear or illusion or miscommunications to belittle your belief and your confidence in this manifestation whatever is manifesting for you i do see deep reflection and i see a lot of owning up to your mistakes owning up to what didn't work the first time with this hermit reviewing the details basically of the spirit the mind and the body literally Number nine could be significant. You could be a humanitarian or somebody who loves to give back. Somebody very wise. Somebody very whole. Holy Spirit. Let's get some more information here. Alrighty, y'all. So, I am seeing something about this seven of swords it's someone or someone who was around you or this was just some sort of
trickster energy here. You could know who I'm talking about if this resonates with some of you. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. We've got Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, y'all. Look at that. Boom. Boom. Same cards literally came out in another deck here. This reading definitely is for somebody. Let's touch on this. Wow. So seven, 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 seven. You could literally be seeing sevens. A lot of sevens. There is a divine intervention happening at this time for you. Whoever I'm speaking to, there is a divine intervention. You definitely dealt with deceitful energy. You definitely struggled with this energy. If that resonates with you as well. You definitely struggled with being flighty. For some of you as well as people have been flighty around you. Remember this energy can manifest in others. So that you learn in that way. Or it can manifest within yourself. So you learn within that way too. But the point is that you learn. And whoever I'm speaking to you do. You could definitely be watching things come into fruition. This is Taurus energy. This is the patience, the tenacity to keep working, to keep growing, to keep pushing forward here. Two Seven of Pentacles and two Seven of Swords. Come on now. That's incredible. Anything else, Spirit, for this hermit? It's as if you're creating harmony and balance, but it hasn't been easy. It, it's it's been a lot of blindfolds being removed from your reality, and it's kind of been overwhelming for some of you, for sure. This is why you've been in that hermit mode, that energy of just really going within. But spirits has come out of that cave and express yourself. Page of Pentacles here. You're intelligent, you're beautiful, you're smart, you're strong, you're very focused on your health, whether this is fitness or whether this is dietary changes, just to get more nutrients in general, just to be able to operate better, more optimal. You're definitely taking the right initiatives here. This is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy all over. You're worried about your bag. You're worried about how you can lead. For some of you, you may be a mentor. You may be a leader. You may be a healer for sure. Anything else, Spirit? Overall energy here. Two of Pentacles. So there's this earth energy now showing up at the end of your reading here. You could be finding yourself juggling new opportunities or this could this new step that you take could deal with making a decision about two different job opportunities, two different ideas that come into fruition through a conversation you have with someone, through inspired motives literally just someone coming to you and having a genuine conversation and you are you just get this epiphany you get this download like i know what to do now wow thank you so much this is the power of inspiration the power of using your imagination connecting to others so this could deal with connections as well business connections or connections that they've done it as well there's this balance with the people that you're around is what i'm getting here you're creating this balance 1919 on the clock so there's definitely a lot going on here with cycles beginning and cycles closing almost simultaneously for some of you take this only if this resonates here don't force the energies these are very specific messages today for sure i love y'all if this message does resonate or you'd like a personal and you took something from this reading at all whether it was the beginning the middle or the end remember there could be parts of this reading that were for you too 
don't be afraid to hit that email button or even text me for a personal reading. I love y'all so much and thank you for your donations. I literally wrote everyone's name who's donated from the past few months here and just sent out a bunch of good energy to y'all. So thank you so much for that. Every PayPal, every Venmo, Cash App, everything keeps this page alive. So I appreciate y'all. Ashe. And so we may get to stepping away. <laughs>